Holy God, we praise the name. Lord of all, we bow before Thee. All on earth Thy scepter claim. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. The Mass I have chosen for today is the Mass for priests. So the propers of the Mass will be specifically for us as we gather today. We will hear a reading, the Gospel reading, that reminds us that Jesus chose the people he wanted to serve as his disciples. Jesus has chosen us, and we present ourselves to him. We stand not beneath a creche, not beneath a nativity scene, even though we are in this city of Bethlehem. We stand beneath the cross. We are mindful of the Paschal mystery. We join in that mystery at this time. My brothers, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, bring mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your only begotten Son eternal High Priest, grant that those he has chosen as ministers and stewards of your mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out the ministry they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first. 
first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers, we earnestly ask and exhort you, the Lord Jesus, that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your sanctification. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks be, be to God. God. You save my life, O Lord, and I shall not die. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said in the new time of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You save, you save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said, I shall see more no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men or those who dwell in the world. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those live the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So often throughout life, all people, priests included, ask themselves, what is God's will for me? And if God tells us his will, if he does, then we should listen to him. In the first reading today, we hear, this is the will of God, your sanctification, that we become holy, saints. In the last 30 plus years, we have seen so many beatifications and canonizations 
Pope John Paul II canonized more saints than any other pope. And in October, we will see more canonizations. Pope Benedict XVI will canonize seven new saints, priests, sisters, two laywomen, a layman. As a side note, two of them happen to have connections to the United States. <laughs> These popes impress upon us the fact that sanctity is within our reach. It's possible. It's something we should look forward to. The difference between the saints and us is that they're already at the final goal. We are still on the way. Still, many people seem to think they have a strange understanding of saints. They seem to think that they go from the womb all the way to the tomb sinless, that they do not need to have a savior, that Bethlehem and Calvary were not important for them. If we think this way, we think that they don't need a savior. St. Alphonsus Liguori said that if you cataloged all of the virtues and the vices of all the saints, their biographies would be double in length. John Henry Cardinal Newman takes up this problem of looking at the saints in the wrong way, forgetting that they were human, that they were tempted and at times sinned. He takes up this issue by writing a very lengthy article. The beginning of that article says this, I hate to read the lives of the saints written by modern authors. And then he goes on to say why he hates to read the lives of the saints written by modern authors. In a chapter entitled Obedience, every obedient thing the person ever spoke of or did or is thought to have done is crowded in that chapter. The chapter on humility takes the same approach. You get to the end of the book and you haven't met a real saint, a real person, but a plaster statue. So, since Newman hates to read the lives of the saints written by modern authors, he says, I don't do it anymore. But he tells us what he does do. He says that people give themselves away so often in the writing of letters, letters to one another. Nowadays, emails, of course. If we write letters to one another and we have many examples of saints who wrote to each other, then we can come to a better understanding and appreciation of them. He writes about many different saints who write back and forth to each other. I will highlight one the letters between St. Jerome and St. Augustine. Of course, we all know St. Augustine. He had a child out of wedlock. He had a mistress for almost 15 years. He is the one who writes in the confessions that he would think, I want to be pure, but not yet. He did everything doable, he tried everything triable, and he still managed to come to goodness, sanctification, perhaps through the tears and the prayers of his mother, Monica. Saint Jerome, everything we know about Saint Jerome, if he had to go through the canonization process today, he probably wouldn't make it. Saint Jerome is the one who is credited with founding religious life for women. 
He gathered women around him, St. Paula, St. Eustochia. We saw their images on the mosaic two days ago in, in, the, in St. Jerome's cave. Anyways, Augustine and Jerome, they write back and forth endlessly. In a particular letter that Jerome writes to Augustine regarding the interpretation of a psalm, Jerome says, your works don't disagree with what I have written. I am nothing. But they disagree with the interpretation of all the Greek authors who had gone before us. How can you be so foolish? Now remember, Jerome lived in Rome with these women there to assist him. He was super smart. He was the power behind the throne of St. Damasus. He had upset so many people that he knew as soon as Damasus died, he would have to flee. When Pope Damasus died, he fleed to this city. And then, not long after that, the women followed him. And so, St. Augustine writes to Jerome, Well, the, I can't find it. <laughs> Here it is. Augustine writes to Jerome after the women have followed him here to the Holy Land. Having women chase you all over the face of the earth is certainly scandalous. Do you not recognize this? <laughs> Jerome writes back. I wasn't surprised to get your letter. Knowing what your life has been, you must think everyone is like you. You're the one with a dirty mind. You can stop writing. <laughs> now they're both in the fullness of the kingdom of heaven. Do you think they needed Jesus just a little bit? Jerome is the one who is always depicted holding the book, the only book he knew. Augustine is depicted holding the heart. He is considered the doctor of love. Evidently, in life, they had to change. They acknowledged they were sinners, and they had to change again and again and again. We have that opportunity this evening as well to acknowledge our sinfulness, to ask the Lord for mercy. St. Bernard says, anyone who does not acknowledge he is a sinner cannot be a saint. Cardinal Newman says, God doesn't grant even to those we call saints, the prerogative of never having sinned. Saint Teresa of Avila says, do not imagine that souls with the desire to, with the desire not to commit any imperfection for anything in the world, that they do not in fact commit them. Of course, we, we are familiar with St. Paul. Why do I do the things I don't want to do and I do the things that I want to do? St. Augustine, he speaks of all of us as simul justus et peccator, both just and sinner. Peccatores in re et sancti in spe. Sinners in reality, saints in hope. If we gain the whole world but have not become saints, it's all in vain. What is the will of God? Our sanctification. And for us as priests, that we in turn become instruments of sanctification
for all other people. What's the will of God? Our sanctification. And the only thing that we, that we are required to do is to acknowledge that we are sinners and that we need to convert. And this will go on throughout our lives, day after day after day. Amen. Amen. In la pagina 13, let us stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one and essential with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in fulfillment with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Placing our trust in God, our Heavenly Father, we now offer him these, our prayers. For all church leaders, that they may continue to tend to the pastoral needs of the people in, other, in their care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For legislators, that they may pass just laws that take into consideration the needs of the poor and vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are faced with threats and challenges they find overwhelming, that they may find confidence in God's care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the terminally ill, and for those who are confined to their homes or their bed because of illness, that they may find strength in turning to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may come to have an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions and the silence of our hearts, and for our parishioners back in our homes, for their needs, and for those of all their family and loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Have mercy, O Lord, on the prayers of your church, and turn with compassion to the hearts that bow before you that those you make sharers in the divine mystery may never be left without your assistance. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 Pagina 70, page 70. 
Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, mercy with love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherish. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at your holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that their labors may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. La plegaria segunda. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, and the Bishop of this diocese and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. be with you. Peace. Pox taken. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Okay. Sorry. For those with their booklets, page 75. Adoro te debo te latens deitas, e que subis formis vere latitas, tibis e cormeon Totum subicit, quia te contemplans, totum deficit. Visus gustus tactus in te falitur, sed solus auditus tut in creditur. Credo quid quid dixit Dei filius Nihil veritatis Verbo verius Pihe pelecane Iesu domine me in mundo mohonda tuo sanguine cuius una stila salvum facere totum mundum poset omniscere Jesu quem belatum nunc auspicio, quando fiet illud quotam cupio, ut te revelata cernens facie, Visus in beatus, tu he gloriae.
Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that, united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let's sing one hymn, page 75, 75. No, 71, 71, sorry. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. Proceed. Amen. Two books, there are two different sets of books.